Hi guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. Today I'm putting together an all battery operated fly rig. If you've been following the Thomas Music YouTube channel, you're aware that we've put together a Valentine's Day contest. Our original plan was to invite the winners of that contest to Thomas, to Germany, and uh, write a song about their love story and perform it here for them. Unfortunately, the winners of that contest could not travel to Germany. So we decided to go and visit them in London to perform the song. That meant I only had a couple days to put together an entirely battery operated fly rig because there's many challenges to this video. Uh, the main one being we're actually going to perform the song in the London Eye, which is really exciting, but also very tricky because we didn't know if we'd have access to mains, if the power would be stable or just enough. So we took the safe route and decided to make everything battery operated. Before we get into the intricacies of that whole rig, uh, I'm just going to mention quickly that this is the guitar that I'm going to be using, which is a Harley Benton HB35. It's a semi-hollow uh, double humbucker guitar. It sounds really good. Uh, for the short story, I went with humbuckers because I'm going to play slide in that song, which is really cool. That's the slide, by the way. It's the rock slide, Joey Landreth, because I hope that there would be some of that mojo in the box. There wasn't. That's for the guitar, for the slide, now let's go on to the complicated part of the rig. This is what I came up with in the first place. So here we have the standard tuner, a BB preamp by Exotic, which would have acted as an actual preamp. Uh, then a uh, first gain stage, I went about going, putting it before, after the preamp both work, but for whatever reason now it's here. Uh, then going into the Strymon Flint for a bit of sweet reverb and tremolo. And then going into the GFI Cap Zeus, Cap Zeus, Cap Zeus, Zeus, which is a really, really good uh, IR loader cap simulation type of tiny cute box. And I was planning on powering all of this with the Mission Engineering 529i rechargeable power supply. There were some limitations with that, mostly the fact that it delivers only 9 volt outputs. So that meant that most of my go-to preamps, such as the uh, Le Clean by 2Note, for example, uh, were out of the way because they all run at a higher voltage or need more milliamps. And uh, so that ruled most of the things out. Same for the IR loader or power amp simulator. I would have gone for the uh, the cab M, for example. Now going out of that pedal board, the second main challenge was the fact that we needed some stage sound, um, but also that we needed a direct out to capture the sound because there's a strong chance that we wouldn't be able to mic it. So with that in mind, I came up with this. This little box right here is the Bose S1 Pro. Uh, it is a Base reflex mounted super compact box of awesome. It's got two main channels and a, an auxiliary in, as well as a line out, a stereo line out, which is really cool because that also does not mute the main speaker, which is the case for all of the battery operated amps that I kind of uh, thought about in the first place. Um, all the, um, the smaller guitar dedicated amps have a tendency of muting the main speaker when you're using the, the line out and that, couldn't, that just couldn't be an option for us. Works wonders, uh, really small, really light. Everything needed to go cabin. Another challenge that we didn't talk about. Everything needs to uh, go cabin because everything's battery operated so we couldn't check in any of that stuff. Uh, so size and weight were also a really big factor in there. But that tiny thing is really powerful, sounds good, and yeah, kind of checks all of these boxes. All that was done yesterday on one day and kind of had to figure all of that stuff out. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, but why, why didn't take that multi-effect, that multi-effect or that multi-effect, which has all of that in one box essentially, and that's a fair point. But every single multi-effect that could run on nine volts, even while bridging outputs to get the right amount of current, uh, were out of stock because you guys keep buying them. So that's why I had to come, to come up with such a complicated kind of setup. But last night something happened. One of you guys upgraded to an actual Helix and sent back an HX Stomp. So that was essentially a lot of work for nothing, but I didn't expect this to come here. By the way, here's the mission engineering power supply. That camera, that camera, all the cameras. That camera. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, um, I, I would have definitely gone with that rig because it did sound really good, uh, but this is even more compact and uh, that means that can be carried in that really tiny practical small bag right there. Huh. Huh. Oh, camera reflections. <laughs> but yeah, that fits in here. How cool is that? So, yeah, essentially the whole guitar rig fits in the guitar gig bag, which is really awesome. Obviously this has as many options as everything that was on the floor, if not more. Um, so my plan is to go uh, into this DI box that we can take straight out to the recorder. So we have like the raw guitar signal in case there's any problem with this unit. Uh, which there hasn't been, we've been rehearsing and everything's been going great. Um, and we'll take the monitor out of the HX Stomp into the recorder as well for the final sound that I'll be using. And uh, yeah, so that's a pretty cool rig. Uh, it's a simple song, I'm just playing a, a, with the volume knob on the guitar mostly to go from cleanish to gainish. But I'm only using one stock preset on the HX Stomp, that's called brown GD, and that sounds like this. Have you finished your fly rig? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Good, good, because I'm done. I'm playing acoustic, so I've got this Is thing. that it? That's it, that's, that's my fly rig. How long did that take? Actually, about two minutes, because there was two guitars that I chose, and <laughs> I went for this one. So I'm done. Good, we're ready then. Actually, have you, oh, have you got like, like a guitar cable or something? Yeah, you, yeah, I'll figure something out. Plug in the, and, um, sure. oh, a strap as well? Yeah. And can I borrow your case? Yeah, we'll get you one. Okay, we'll get thanks, you one. <laughs> Come on, I need that I'll one. I'll see you later. Can you stop messing around with this video? We've got to go and play a concert. Sorry, I shut the door. So that was Andy. Uh, glad to see he's ready too. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope if you're looking out for an old battery powered rig, uh, you found some inspiration there. If you guys want to check out the final result of that rig and, and hear it, mainly you can head over to the Tobin Music YouTube channel that will be linked here and here in the description box. Uh, while you're down there, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Be well. I will see you very, very soon. And now I need to go. Oh, I probably need the guitar, right? <laughs>